Hey, what's going on, guys? This is a new Alex Cook podcast. So what I want to talk about is this is going to be another CFA podcast. So I made a bunch of videos about how to pass the CFA exams. That's kind of how I got on a social media in the first place. Made a video about it, um, kind of got some attention, and a lot of people reached out about that. So uh, that's kind of how I got started making some content on the CFA program. Uh, more recently, though, I made a video talking about why the CFA program might not be for you. So I made that video because it was really based on a lot of thoughts that I had. So you know, the, the program, it did open up some doors for me, but I think maybe not as many doors as I would have thought, to be honest. So I made this video to kind of clear up some misconceptions that you, you do get a good education from it. Like I, I, I am not trying to bash the CFA program. Like you do learn a lot from it. And I think that's the real value but I think that's the way it needs to be thought of. Meaning, you know, you should think of the CFA program really more as almost a liberal arts education, not not as a trade. So like you can't go out and just start CFAing. You know, you can't just start financing. Like that 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 doesn't mean anything. Whereas, you know, let's say you have uh, a CPA, uh, the 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 accounting uh, designation. Well, you can probably find some kind of gainful employment may not be your dream job, but you could find at least something. You know, you could do someone's taxes, you could do someone's bookkeeping, or, you know, if you pass the bar, you know, you could, you know, maybe not your your dream law firm, but you could be doing some kind of law, like maybe even just like public defender work or helping people write their wills or something. Like you can do something. The CFA program doesn't really have the equivalent of it. Like you can't just go out and start generating revenue purely based off of that. Now, you do learn a lot about investing. Uh, you do learn a lot about finance from it. That is the value. Now, the, the, the problem that you're going to need to solve is then taking that value and finding a way to present it either to companies uh, to employ you or to clients. That is now the problem that you need to solve. It's like saying you read a bunch of books. Okay, great. Like, cool story. How can you apply it? So... A great example that I got from Wall Street Playboys, which they've now rebranded to the name Bowtide Bull, a great blog, highly recommend you check it out, is you know, think in terms of what kind of skills of yours could you print out on a sheet of paper, okay, and then go staple that to some bulletin boards on a on a nearby college campus and start making money. So, you know, a personal trainer can do that, a tutor can do that. So that's how you should think of your skills. So if you don't have something that you could put on some bulletin boards, then there's work to be done. So, I mean, look, honestly, like probably the easiest one would be computer programmers. It seems like there is always some kind of need for that or, or, or web designers. Uh, you know, maybe you do have the skills, but you need to frame your narrative right. So go on something like Upwork. Now, there are CFA charter holders on there. But look at what they're doing. Now, a lot of it is building business plans for small businesses or entrepreneurs, okay? So that might be a good side hustle for you. And maybe if you're good at it, maybe, who knows, maybe it can be your main thing. Maybe quit your main job and make that be your main job. And, you know, who knows, stack a bunch of crypto or something. But look, the bottom line is the CFA program. It's an industry credential. It's a finance industry credential. And it's more of a liberal arts education really than a trade. So if you have a CPA, you know, again, you have a high likelihood of being able to get some kind of job, uh, but that's not necessarily true with the CFA program. Now, it did open up a few doors for me, maybe not as much as I thought, but I, I want to clear up this misconception that, you know, as soon as you get this charter, just jobs are going to start raining down from the heavens and you'll never be unemployed ever again. That's just not true. Now, it, it will take some initiative. Uh, you know, side note, this is why I don't really answer questions like it on my channel, like, hey, do you have any advice on how to pass the CFA exams? And uh, the reason I don't, look, it's not to be abrasive, it's just that I made a whole video on this, so I find it funny when I get these comments. It's like, or, or, or even on the video itself, like even on the video where I gave advice on how to pass CFA exams, like, hey, do you have any advice on the exams? I'm like, yeah, uh, pay attention to the video that you just watched. And, you know, I'm not saying this to be abrasive, but it's, look, to, to give you guys some real advice, like this is not a respectful use of my time. And uh, it's not doing the people asking these questions any good either, because they have to learn to take some initiative. So, Look, the right way to use your CFA charter is you know, soak in all the knowledge, figure out ways to apply it, because you will learn a lot. But then the, the problem that you have to solve is how can you apply this real world in a way to generate revenue? Now, you could do this at your firm. 
the CFA program, a lot of it is structured around the wealth management model, the equity research model. But you know, you could apply it maybe to invest in banking too, because there's a valuation side of that. You could apply it to buying a business of your own. You could apply that to looking at uh, websites if you want to build an online business or buy an online business. And you do have a, a rigorous financial education, so you could evaluate what would be a fair price if you wanted to uh, buy a website, maybe on Empire Builders or uh, you know Flippa, one of those websites that sells. Uh, uh, online businesses, you could use maybe some of the skills that you have to evaluate, hey, is this a good investment for you? You know, you could use this to build business plans, maybe for small businesses. So there are ways to use it. The challenge for you is how can you apply the theories and, and even some of the technical skills? How can you apply this in a way that can generate revenue for yourself? So that is the right way to use your CFA charter. It is not a trade, meaning it's not no, you can't just generate revenue like you can having a CPA. Uh, you can't do this right off the bat, but it does give you good education. What to do that is up to you. So hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to start making some more content. I've uh, just been you know, a little busy with, uh, with work and uh, some personal things, but I'm, I'm going to make some more content as I can. So let me know what you, go, uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, thanks for tuning in.